Hey guys, it's Kathleen with Thrifty Bridges. I am back with another Thrift With Me video. It is Friday and I am hitting up an estate sale. So it is one of my favorite kind of estate sales where the signs are handwritten. So it's not by an estate sale company. So hopefully that is a good thing. The last time I went to one of these, it was run by an, a reseller. And so everything was like ridiculously priced. It was like eBay prices. So that's just a waste of my time. But hey, it's Friday during the summer. So I am more than happy to stumble up there and see if I can find any deals. Um, if you are new to my channel, I try to find undervalued merchandise to flip for a profit on eBay, Poshmark, Macari. I scour yard sales and estate sales and thrift stores looking for deals. So if you like that kind of content, hit the subscribe button, show us the love. All right, guys, let's head on out there. Yes. Oh, wow.
Interesting. Ooh. Vintage Katana. Cool single stitch. Victoria's Secret. It says small but still pretty. Not silver, I don't think. No, polyester. Sorry, no point. ton of vintage department 56 they are all pre-owned and in okay shape i'm gonna see if they'll be willing to work with me and maybe bundle it up for me i will let you know how it goes okay guys i am back with the thrift haul portion of the video and this was a very decent estate sale um, at first I wasn't too sure because I found this old Furby and she was like $25. I thought, oh, she's not going to play nice, but ended up being fine. Um, I ended up finding a couple of pieces of vintage clothing, which I'd love to pick up. I think I did pretty good. They were only a dollar an item. So that's a great score. And then I found all of that department 56 stuff. So Department 56 was hit and miss for me. I definitely have some pieces that have just sat around and sat around. But I took a chance on this because it is a retired pattern. It is the Heritage Collection, and pardon my blowing hair, but it's hot as Hades in Alabama today for a change, and I need a fan. So anyway, I think I did okay. She wanted 250 for everything. I told her, oh, I, th I think we're too far apart. I was really hoping to pay about $100 for everything because I don't know what everything is worth. And she's like, well, I looked it up on eBay, but she wasn't looking up at solds. So when I showed her how to look up solds, she's like, oh, how about 150? I go, let's meet in the middle. I'll do 125. She took it for 125. So I think I did okay. This piece alone should pay for the set. This is Little Town of Bethlehem and it is all 12 pieces. I have to plug it in and check it out but the lady said it was her mom's and that she kept immaculate care of everything so i'm hoping it'll be okay um i didn't feel like plugging it all in to be honest with you so looking up the comps i figure i should get about 70 dollars for that set and then this is another vintage piece up up and away it's like this flying santa you attach it to the mountain. Now this one is not in immaculate condition, but it does have the original box, which is always a plus. Um, and it's just been used. It's just been definitely used over the years. I think this one should bring probably about 20 bucks. And now for the rest of it. So I have got two huge boxes full. So first is this huge tub. It has got one, this one, I did do a quick comp on this and this should bring somewhere around the 15 to $20 mark. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 in here. And then, um, she also threw in these roads. I don't know if they're Department 56 or not, but I figured, what the heck, if she's throwing it in, I'll take it. And in this one, we have got one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, eleven more pieces plus the road. So, I mean, you're talking about 25 pieces, even if I only get 
ten dollars a piece that's still 250 plus the 70 for the other one so I'm definitely going to make my money back and then some so uh, the only issue is that it's probably gonna be a bit of a long tail item it's probably gonna hang around definitely in my favor that all of them have got the original boxes and styrofoam with the exception of the up up and away one which is missing the styrofoam but when I looked really quickly at the figures I mean they really are in great condition I've had some luck with department 56 but you've got to hit it right you've got to find something that is retired that you know people have a desire for and they're not able to get it anymore in the department stores so I'm hoping that I hit upon that with this pickup I will keep you posted okay, and then the only other things I got were five pieces of vintage clothing so first of all this caught my eye because I thought it was silk um, since I had to donate my purple silk jammies, I was hoping to find another pair to replace them. No such luck. These are 100% polyester, but as you saw, they are gold label Victoria's Secrets. And this one is without holes. So hoping to get about $18 to $20 for this. You know my love affair with um, vintage Ralph Lauren polo type stuff. So I found this and it was chaps, 100% cotton, but definitely vintage and also denim. So I don't think this is going to bring me, you know, big bukus of money, but it's a great size. It's in a size 16 and it's in perfect condition in um, a men's size 16. So I'm estimating somewhere in the 15 to $20 mark for this. Then, I finally found a single stitched t-shirt. I have been looking and looking and have never found, but I finally have found single stitched t-shirt. It is Gitano, vintage Gitano. Didn't even look up the comps. The fact that it was single stitched and Gitano and look at this pattern. I mean, how retro is this? So I will look up the comps and flash them up there. No flaws in this shirt other than a little bit of dust. I'm going to run it through the wash because it looks a little yellowed, but I mean, how cool is that? Would it, is that a palm tree or is that a marijuana leaf? I think it's a palm tree. Surely that's a palm tree, right? Hope so. I think so. And then the last two items go, go together. I'm going to lock them up and sell them together. So excited for these. They are a vintage Maggie London, 100% silk size 12 sheath dress gorgeous gorgeous condition and it goes with this adorable also 100 percent silk animal print sheer little open cardigan sheath thingy so so pretty loved this as soon as i saw it gorgeous 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 no holes because I am diligently checking myself from this point forward. All right, guys, that is everything for this quick stop at an estate sale. As always, if you like this kind of footage, please hit the subscribe button and the like button down below. All right, guys, until the next time, I will catch you later. Bye-bye.